Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to some more Naruto Project with me. Yeah, it is Naruto Project, yeah, that's fine. God, I'm getting confused now because I changed the fucking name a bit for the Bleach one, didn't I? Oh, because of them. They wanted to call it Project Naruto, I'm calling it Naruto Project, then it like comes to Bleach. Alright, I'll call it Project Bleach then, keep them happy, or just to spite them at this point. And then they change it to Bleach Project. The bastards. Uh, the, well, the ones that are on anyway, mainly in Mo. Uh, the, uh, the, I think Zara just agreed with me because he was fine with it. God knows what Pat and Mitch are going to think whenever they decide to join her. Mitch has been busy working in junk. So blah, blah. But anyway, I'm here by myself because, well, I wanted to get an episode done and then possibly record with others later, see who's about. Blah, 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 blah. So, um, a couple of wee things. So, uh, last time was a stream. Uh, even though I got a comment saying this isn't a stream, it was a stream. <laughs> There's a stream on Twitch, except because it's on Twitch, it's like not going to YouTube and stuff. So I figured, right, well, I'll take the stream. And I don't want to just transfer this, the, the entire stream over, because that would include all the little bits that are a bit pointless in a stream. Like times where I had to, like, say, leave the room, or the very first bit and stuff, or some of the in bits and stuff. So basically what I've been doing lately is I've been streaming on Twitch, which some people see. Thank you to everyone who shows up. And, uh, yeah, I've just been cutting it up and putting out his videos. And that's kind of been working. Because, but, like, when I'm with the others, there's, there's some good stuff going on in there. It's quite fun. So, yeah, that's been a thing. If you've been wondering why some of the last videos have been a bit weird. Just how it's been working, isn't it? But, anyway, since last time, I went off and did some more bits and pieces on the server. Then realised I was wasting a lot of time. Because I found an even better method to do things. Using my army of old men downstairs. Hold the bass, let's go over and visit them. So right, if you also missed it, Zara might have started a bit of a bit of a riot. It's a little, a little bit of a riot, and we may have lost a few members. Unfortunate. You might have also noticed I pulled a sneaky one. And yeah, I petrified one of them. <laughs> oh, it's a it was a genius move to be fair. Uh yeah, basically Inma wanted the Grapple move, that's the one. I couldn't remember its name there. I wanted the grapple move. I don't want him to get his hands on the grapple move. I don't want people to get their hands on it easily. <laughs> so as a genius move, while they weren't looking, I petrified the poor bugger. Okay, apparently I've just straight up killed him. Hold on. Let, is it? Hold on. <laughs> oh dear. Normally you petrify them, then you can break them out, and they're fine. Uh, oh man, are you, are you still there? It, did I leave him in stone too long? <laughs> I think I could kill them. Why did you heal up? Feckles knows. Okay, he's actually dead. Never mind. I put him in the stone mode because I was going to, like, break him back out later. And, like, yeah, he's, uh, never mind. I petrified him, though, so they couldn't see and they couldn't use him. I thought he'd turn into a stone old man, but never mind. That didn't happen. Right, guys, I found a better way of using this lot. Because, right, so I went to the end. Because that's the place I go to if I want to get more books and stuff, more techniques and things. Which I'm still after as many techniques as I can. And, uh, yeah, I got some stuff while I was there. I got a couple of new ones. Okay, I got some apprentice ones. I got one advanced one. No master abilities. Then I got some doublers that I don't need anymore, which are all these ones up here. Then I got some special ones that I'm just keeping hold of for the sake of it. I need to get dragon fire. Anyway, I shifted all the books from downstairs over there into the library, into our little section, aka the section that the regular NPCs and whatnot can't get to because they can't. So let's just quickly... I can just do this. Uh, see, so yeah, I put book, like, bookshelf things up here. I started categorizing them stuff and categorizing them into, like, their levels. So we've got, like, the basic novice level, apprentice, advanced. Then, like, who the hell's going to put master ones up here? So I've just left the last ones. They've got, like, enchant books and upgrade books over here as well. So, right. I moved them all here. I made sure we got one copy of each. Apart from, like, the, the thingy ones here. I've just left the two of them because I don't really want to trade them in for five crystals. So I took all the doublers. Right, so now we can trade with more pe the people and get more things unlocked. Cool. I figured out a better way, though, after doing all that. <laughs> I figured out a much better way. You might also carry a lot of books with me. We'll get to mine in a second. Right. We're going to try to do some books, first of all. Oh, yeah. Also, to know, I got two Astral Diamonds Wells out, too. Which was insane. Like, I got one out of a loot bag. And one out of a chest. And it occurred to me, right. I went to the inn for a while. Like, I was there for ages. And I got two Astral Diamonds. I've not had a huge number of Astral Diamonds already. Then it occurred to me, wait a minute, but I wasn't paying attention like, the first three quarters of the series for Astral Diamonds. I didn't know their value. There's a very high chance, especially in my early days going through the end, that I possibly just went through structures and just thought it was a piece of, um, opal. And just didn't care. Because 
I, I didn't care about the crystals back then because there was no point to them. <laughs> I have missed Astro Diamonds. That sands my soul quite a bit. Anyway, what do we want? Um, I need to speak to an old man. Yeah, I'll go for one of the ones down here because I don't trust the ones up there. Right, you're an ice person. What the hell is that? What's that? What's that? That's Hailstorm. What the hell's Hailstorm? I don't know. Anyway, as we might get it at some point. Right, you there. You're going to trade these books for five crystals. Every time I trade you a book, you'll unlock more stuff for me. Right. Oh! Oh, other thing that I did. I've done so many things off camera, but it's been like a day or two. I upgraded one of my things. Is it this one? Yes, it's this one. I've upgraded it quite a bit. Uh, where's where's my table? There's my table. Let's have a quick look at this bad boy. I was using all the scrolls and stuff that I found, ones that I bought and things. And I put the max number of upgrades. So it turns out you can have nine upgrades on a single thing. So my uh, uh, fan now has uh, nine upgrades. It's got a duration of effects cast up. So I put paralysis on it, hoping to hit his R with that and hope it lasts ages. It's probably going to last like four seconds. Um, upgrade uh, ability cooldown speed. Cool. All right. That's handy. Half my things don't have any cooldown, but all right. Um... I've read the number of things that can be on a thing three times, so now it can hold eight. Eight instead of five. Cool. Uh, upgrades the capacity. It went from 2,500 up to 3,250. Cool. Uh, upgrades uh, slowly generate over time, so that means I don't have to use crystals anymore. That means it's just going to regenerate. That also means I can use the trinket to increase siphoning ability. Cool. And upgrade the effective range of abilities. That means my grapple and my paralysis can now shoot further. I think that's handy too. Obviously, it was just me trying, like, I just started shoving things on it, because I didn't know how many I could have on. So I wouldn't say this is perfect, uh, but I did use most of my fair things. What have I still got left? I've still got some scrolls left. Yeah, I still got a few other ones left from various places that I've gotten and obtained them and stuff. Alright. Anyway, though, let's quickly trade with, we'll trade with these three. Yeah, we'll trade those four. We'll trade with these four. Get some things off them, eh? So let's do that. So, right, you there. You want to trade that? We're going to get some, some of them. But that's torches. Oops. Duh. Right, so you're going to unlock a thing. Now I'll trade with you. You're going to unlock a thing. And I'll trade with you. That's, that's, again, that's torches. Oh, God. And you're going to unlock a thing. That didn't happen. What the? No, it did happen. Never mind. Did you? Yeah. Uh, and grab that. But that. Anyway, so I'm going to do that with all these books really quick. I'm going to cut now. I'm going to do this with all these books and unlock everything we can for these guys. We're going to see what's available to us after that. And then we'll I'll go back. So I, don't, I don't think he's going to watch me changing all these books. Then we're going to get to the, the thing that I figured out. So one second. All right. So I've traded in all the books extra. I've got 100 exactly. So that means I guess I had 20 exactly. Cool. What do we have the show for? Well, blah, 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 we had that already. So we've unlocked the Master Ability Earthquake. That's really cool. I, the Inmo's going to probably want that. We've got mine. That's junk. The bed the bat's junk. We've got flight. Oh, crap. That's actually really good. Why is that Earth? <laughs> well, because it's nature, apparently. What? Well, actually, no. I say that. The Chisakagi, whatever the feck his name was, the old man, he could fly. That wasn't Earth technique. That was a body lightning technique. That's not even wrong. That's actually correct. Oh, God. That's actually correct. That actually makes sense in a twisted way, because in Naruto, there is flight. Ah, uh, Right, you get what you got. You get Thunderbolt. You've got upgrade uh, capacity. That's pretty good. All right, that'd be nice to have. I've got effective range. All right, that's something. That's something. That's a master tomb. Nobody cares about that. We can get master things, no problem. So you're pretty useless, power. If you've got emerald spare. Curse of undeath. Never again. Uh, muffle. Snare. Upgrade cooldown. Right, that's for golden thingy. That's pretty good. I would take that. And that's all you've got. Some of these guys are glitching and not giving as much. Mm. Right, anyway, so we've got Hillstorm Master ability here. We've got Freeze. We've got Upgrade Mana Capacity. Again, for Crystals and Thingy, that's good. Effective range, bleh. Okay, so I didn't get too, too much out of that. I got a couple of... I got two Master abilities, actually. I got two pretty powerful Earth Master abilities. I might not know what I'm... I might never know what I'm spending my, uh... Thingies on. Because Flight, as an air user, probably suits me better. Apparently, it suits him as well, because you can use the Body Lightning technique. Because that's an Earth thing, apparently, which I forgot about. Everyone's going to be so happy with themselves. Plus, I think Earthquake's one of the coolest things, but never mind. Right, anyway. But, uh, moving on from there. Why am I doing that? Where is where's my workbench? There it is. So, all right. I figured something out. And there's a reason why I've got spell tipped in here. You can make books. I forgot about this. You can make books. The very first ability is four crystals in a book. 
All you need to do is take some bricks. Bish, 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 bish. Bish. And just like that, I now have 16 books to trade in. You get five crystals back every time you trade one in. So you're going to profit in crystals. So long as you have books. We have tons of books. We cleared out the end library. On top of that, if we want more books, we just need to go to the Twilight. The Lich King has got a million books that we can steal. Plus, we get sugar cane and a million cows that we keep, that we, you know, we've been using. So, like, yeah, we we could we could profit from this. We've got the means to profit from this because we have crystals here already. We just need to trade more. So, just like that, I now can trade all the crystals I just got into these and finish. Now I've got twenty five. Trading that, and that's going to get me one hundred and twenty five crystals. <laughs> so, right. One more second. We're going to do a few more trades really quick. Right. So once again, took all the books, the, 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 traded them in, got crystals back, accidentally threw one of the crystals into this buggerous thing, and I can't reach it. And I refuse to break this down and get it. So I've just lost that crystal now. So I'm now down one. So I've got 124. But you know what? Fine. Mathematically, that works out better. And it, it's, it's, it's the thing of four. So what have we got to show for? Well, all four of these are now, I think, are maxed out. Because I tried doing trades there and none of them would give us anything extra now. So right, this dude dude here. So we got Flight. Yeah, we knew everything. We mastered him. Get Fire Sigil. What the hell's Fire Sigil? I don't know. I'm actually going to start getting gold and start buying some of these, though. Because, like, some of this could actually be quite good. So, yeah. Let's spend a bit of this. Fire Sigil. What is that? I don't know. Oh, yeah. For, uh, the, 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 the uh, fire Sigil. We'll have a bit of that. Have a bit of that. We'll have a bit of Fire Sigil. Because, sure. That sounds interesting. The last thing you unlocked was Forest Curse. What is Forest Curse? I don't know. Does it spawn trees? I hope it does, but I don't know. But yeah, but it's an Astral Diamond. I need someone treats Astral Diamonds. Is that even possible? I'd love it if it was. See, you do this effect thing, mate, but I don't believe you're going to be ever done anything new. I don't believe it. Okay, I'll come back to you in a second. And so now we get this chappy chap here. So right, we've got one effect. Uh, Tim. A Master Tim thing. Conjure Block. Crap. Upgrade the range effects. Things can be cast. All right, that's interesting. Grapple. Thick. <laughs> it's back. Oh god, damn. I'm not gonna petrify you. I've invested. I've not even invested that much. Have you anything in you I actually care about? Like, get banish. That gets rid of summons. Thunderbolt. One capacity. That could be a so. All right, yeah. Effective range of cast. Wait a minute. Air of effects. All right, okay, yeah, effective range cast and air of effect cast. All right, that's different things altogether. Eh, uh, but no. Next, we've got you. We've got Curse of Undead. Never again. Uh, we've got Poison Bomb. That sounds really annoying. We've got Cobwebs. That sounds really, really annoying. Oh, God. We've got a Healer's Hat. We've got uh, Scar of Identification. We've got Snowball. Okay, I think that's the last thing for him. Now, we've got this chappy chap here. This is someone not Mitch's alley. Uh, I've got Mana Story. Yeah, I'm going to take one of these because that's, that's quite a handy thing to have. I'd quite like to store up in some of these. We've got effective range, we've got snowball, we've got master tomb, we've got ace bits. Wall of frost! What is that? Not a clue. But there's a master ability. We've got so many master abilities in here. There's so many. What have we got? We've got earthquake, flight, uh, curse of forest, thingy, bajig, uh, the wall of frost, and hailstorm. That's five different master abilities. Where the feck did you come from? Beckles, it, he's all alright. I mean, I know you can defend yourselves, but I really don't want you to get all up and leave. Like, that would be really annoying. The hell did that thing come from? It, it, it just arrived. Alright, whatever. I really wish I was a way to kind of shut this door from inside. It's not, though. Anyway. Alright, you lot are done then. So you lot are tapped out. I have two crystals I could trade. Two astral diamonds I could trade. It, they're not easy to get a hold of more. So, yeah, uh, I need to be careful what I spend them on. So I'll debate it. I'll debate it for now. I don't know what to... Sp also, just to double check. Uh, we just got Fire Sigil. Are any of you Fire Sigil? No. Good. So that means we did just get unlock another new thing then. They've not tried. Noise. Now, I did go over and I unlocked one of your things because, yeah, it was just Snowball. Wow, okay. Never mind. Upgrade effect. Hailstorm. Oh, you have Hailstorm as well. Well done. Right. Anyway. Let's go learn some of the abilities we've currently got because I want to see what they are before we do more of the guy. But yeah, that's as long as I've got books. We can just keep making profit at those crystals. And that and books are easy to get. Because as I said, we've got millions of sugar cane. Look at all this sugar cane we've got. There's tons of it. I mean, it's not fully regrown back since I last 
took it all. But you know, there's tons of it. We could go get more. We want more books just straight away. We could just go jump to the twilight, break into Lich King's castle, raid his library, take all of his books. Badoosh, that's several stacks right there. And then also we need leather to make more books. We'll get cows for days. There's too many cows at this point. They're struggling for space. They'd love it if I'd kill a few of them. They wouldn't love it to kill a few of them. But still, you know, they're not going to complain if I say complaints in a language I can understand. So it's all right. I guess. They speak cow, animal, whatever. And they are primarily for eating anyway. So no one will notice if a few go missing. Or half them songs I breed them first. Oh god, I don't need to jump here. I'm trying to justify killing a cow here. It's a Minecraft cow. Calm down. We don't need any justification. They're Minecraft cows. They deserve it. Their primary, their primary purpose is to provide us leather and food. So yeah, but just like that, I've just gotten like tons of paper. I can get more books. So I can just keep doing that now. So I can max out all those guys, not bad. I'd have to spend hours in the freaking end again. <laughs> Thank the god. I mean, I still need to go and get Astro Diamonds, unless there's someone else. I need to go grab more old men. That's gonna be a pain. Oh, I'm not gonna enjoy that. Either way. So it's something I'll need to get done eventually, I suppose. Probably. Right, anyway, for now though, let's go and shove all these abilities we just got onto one of our uh, staffs here. Let's see what got. Oh, it's Ender. I was wondering where that fit was there. Also, wait, did I put one of the thingy tables up here? I don't think so. Like, hold on. Jump. Badoop. No, no, I did not. I should put one of the tables up here though, so we can just use them up here. Because uh, right now I've got one in my inventory and one in the thingy would you. One downstairs. Now that I've moved the old men from different towers, I could just go steal theirs. That would make sense. Yeah, I'll do that later. Right, but do. Oh, we unlocked. Let's have a look see. Look -see. Uh, -do -do. Which staff am I using again for Tess? I think it was this one. Although I've got Invoke Well and Petrify this one. So we gotta make another one. Right, staff. I need a staff of some sorts. I need a staff of some sorts. A master level staff, apparently. That'd be good. Um, advanced. Demonic map. You know what? Yeah, you'll do nicely. Just to test things on. Sure, why not? Badoosh. Badoosh. Can I need the books out or this isn't going to work? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. or six of them. Right. So, all right. We've got Fire Sigil, which is one we knew. So, I want to see what that does. So, we'll give that a go first. Then we'll see. We'll see. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Fire Sigil. <laughs> Oh god, I think I know what that one is. Is that the one Zara was using to blow everyone up? Uh, maybe. That's not good. I wish another zombie villager would show up. That's the problem because we get everything so lit up, we can't find them. I've got to go like travel with all areas to find them. But right, okay. Anyway, let's use Fire Sigil over these parts. There we are. Fire Sigil! Oh my god, it is. No, it's not. Is it? I don't know. I need something to walk into it. Ah, uh, no! That's bad. Can't break the fecker either. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. Right, hold on. I need to drag. I need to drag something over here. Hello, we've got grapple ability. Literally for this exact reason. Mr. Sheep, come here. That's right. Walk onto the. Oh no! Just hit some fire. Oh, that's fine. I can work with that. That's much better than the exploding one. <laughs> Exploding one sucks. It makes things explode. Right, anyway, what we got next? We've got banish. All right, so we've learned banish then. Kill. Cool. Fire boom. This one requires a target. Oh, I see a spider over there. No, I don't. It's gone. No, Mr. Spider. There's a creeper over there. I don't trust you. This is so close by. Mr. Creeper. Oh, oh God, hi. Whirlwinds. Ooh, that's what I can use. Bye. Ah. It's very. That's not a very good ability, but whatever. It's it works. It works. It works. Oh, not again. <laughs> oh. It never mind. I was that. Not again. I just got a bloody cursed with undead. I just got removed curse. Oh. Well, that was handy. <laughs> That saves me a bit of bother then. All right, I, I'll work with that. It's not bad. Okay, so that's what five of them were. What was the last one then? Let's have a quick little look. See. Yeah, we're away and there's a bit of banish. So, right, hold on. Um, blah, 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 blah. 
But I don't really care about Firebomb, Pat might want that. Fire Sigil, Pat might want that. Remove cars just seems handy. Whirlwind is one of mine, and I've got the mystery one, and Banish, which I can shove up in the library in a bit. So, right, that's fine. So now we'll put, not that, that. Finish. Let's see what this last ability is, shall we? So, wait, remove curse, though. Can I use that in others, or? Sheep, come here. That hasn't fucking worked. Can I use that myself? I wonder if I can use that in other people if they got cursed. It doesn't, it doesn't trigger unless there's a curse to remove. Interesting. I'll figure that one out later, all right, anyway. Uh oh. Oh uh, no, it's a special one. My inventory might go flying. Careful, careful. Yeah, there it is. <sighs> right. Grab everything quickly. <laughs> Preferably before anything gets destroyed or forgotten about. Alright, uh, where's. There's the fecker. Conjure, but really? Freaking stupid spatial stuff. You fake up my inventory for this? Alright, anyway. Picked all back up, it's fine. Conjure bow! It's a bow! It... Yeah, that can just sit in the pile of we don't give a fick. Where's my spear? Where's my. There's my spear. Right. Um. I think that's everything. It's everything where it should be. That's fine. Right. So the bow doesn't last very long. Oh, yeah, no, good it is, though. Like. Yeah, it shoots conjured arrows. Eh. Then they become rare arrows after they shoot. Interesting. What about the power arc? Hmm. Well, no matter. Ah, and the bull's gone. Right, well, those can just sit in the pile of we don't give a feck about them. Because we don't give a feck about them. Right, so we've got lots of crystals now. Alright, now, yeah, this worked, This has worked out pretty good. Though. i got the remove curse ability. I've got a whirlwind ability. I've got two fire abilities, I'm sure. Pat will be... Pat probably won't care. But, you know, at least they're there. So, alright, so... Going by this logic, we've got banish, which we didn't have. That's... I, I'm just shoving that under general. So that's an apprentice one. And then we've got conjure bow. Another general one. Yeah, I've just I've just kind of shoved everything, like heal necromancer everything into there because bleh. Trying to sort them through. Um I just care about the elemental ones, and that's pretty much been it. Also, I've got Earth question mark because it's not really Earth, is it? It's not really Earth, is it? Ah, oh, but now the question becomes What master ones do I want to get? Or mm, I'm saying that. Could take a little bit of time. And quickly, quickly, quickly. Chain, uh, unlock some more things for some more people. That would be the smart thing to do, because then I can see exactly everything that's on offer before I make my decision. And feckles it. That's probably what I'm going to do now. So one sec, I'm going to quickly make more of the books. I'm going to trade with well, the two laddie down, lads down here. Maybe some more up here. And we'll see, we'll see what's on offer. We'll see what's on offer by the time I'm done. We'll see if there's any other cool little abilities I can pick up now that I found this very... It's not, even like a, it's not even like a cheating method or anything. It's just logical. Like, they give you the ability to build it. They're offering trades. The trades give you more crystals than what you need to make more of the books. I imagine the only kind of mental thing is the fact that I've dragged all these old men out of their homes into an underground lair to store them all. <laughs> I mean, that's the only, like, kind of mental bit about it. Because, like, you're not really probably... The idea is supposed to be go travel place to place, trading with them as you go and stuff. No, I've, t I've took them all to one place and I'm trading with them. Because logical. But anyway, let's quickly do this. Let's see what we get on offer then, shall we? Right, so a bunch of times passed. Bunch of books have been exchanged. I've now got nine books left. I've got over three stacks of crystals. I've now got some ingots. I've now got some books here. I also picked up a book called uh, Summon Spirit Horse. That sounds delightful. Oh, feck. Hello. A necromancer. Where are you? That's not good. Uh, where? Over there. I see the marker. I see the mark. I think I see the marker. Hello! Are you from the Necromancer? You're only summoning zombies, mate. That's not very good. Wait, what if he summons a zombie villager? I can steal it. I can cure it. Hold on. Get the get the goods ready. Golden apple. Potions of weakness. Another golden apple just in case. Hello! You can feck off right now. I'm a bit busy right now. Right. Mate, summon more thingies for me. Summon me a zombie villager, preferably. Not a husk. This is a little rank one, I'm pretty sure. 
I'm pretty, like, I've met a higher rank one before, and I'm pretty sure it summons Wither Skeletons. That's how I've got four Wither Skeleton skulls, because I found one that summoned that, and it couldn't find the Vicar summoning them. I just kept killing the Wither Skeletons as I had four skulls. It was great fun. Uh, you're going to give me very few these, though, which is quite unfortunate. Yeah, look, here he is. All right, mate. Yeah, you're not, you're not very good, are you? I'm going to keep you, though. We're gonna play for a bit, mate, because I I have full faith you'll summon what I need eventually. I don't know if he can. I just I want to believe he can. Also, this battle environment's not very beneficial to me, you know that? Maybe I should not no, don't knock him anyway, mate. Like die. No no no! I You stay over here! You fecker. Like I know the guards will do their jobs and like, you know, protect the villagers and all that jazz. I don't really fancy leaving a chance, though. Mate, can you please summon one soon? Like, come on. Like, I know I want to play with you for a bit, but I don't want to, like, be here all day. You know, I was... Ooh, bag. All that. Like, I've got other things in the agenda. I've unlocked so many new things to play with. <laughs> like, I want to be here all day. No! Fucking die, you. Ooh, bag. Bags are good. Aye! Little fecker. Get here. Come on, Jay needs a new pal. I can't, it can't just be anybody. It doesn't work like that. What have you got in here? Bunch of random junk. Alright, shove. I got lightning ray. Cool, I already have that. Whatever, just shove it away for now. What's that? That's the spear of spit. What? Makes no sense. Uh, You're a thing as well. Hey! Oh, God, he's making a run for it. Alright, right, look, if there's no... If there's no... It's the most so oh, he's stuck good. If there's no zombies about I, uh, Like is he gonna make any? Hey, what if I just put fence down though? Then he can't get in. Genius. <laughs> Hold on. Come to me tree. Put down crafting bench. Get some sticks. This isn't going to be enough. This isn't going to work. This isn't going to work out. Now, what if I trap him? If I can trap the twat. Where is he? I hear him. Oh, God. Necromancer! No! That's right. Stay right there. Just stay right there. Perfect. You idiot. <laughs> Unless the guard comes. Then, you know. Jeez. Husk! You're not what I need. You can't summon people. Alright, just make sure it keep his attention away from the actual village. That's what to do. Yeah, like shove that there. Put those in there. Add the ba Oh, enough of that, you. Alright, break that away. Hello. Uh oh. Add the ba Zombos! Careful! I like how the sheep's just surviving. <laughs> oh, you're not going to summon the ones they need, are you? I know they're rare, but still. It's annoying me. Come on. This is like my best chance ever. I'm going to fucking kill him with that. This is like my best chance ever to get, you know, a zombie villager to arrive. He's just not playing the game with me. He just summoned another one there. Did you just summon that in the library? Hold the boss. Because I have people going to the library. That's quite bad. Yes, yes, you did. Oh dear. Guards! Guards! Where are yous? Okay, you need to die now. You're, you're causing me too many problems. I was willing to play with you for a bit. But if you're not going to cooperate with me in the exact way I like, you can fucking die. God damn it. The potential! Yeah, he had four. He was a level one. He's a level one. Alright, let's hold them dead anyway. Alright, let's have a look see over here, just in case. Let's feck all here. Well, that I need anyway. Alright, didn't he build a... Yeah, he's got a spawner up here. What kind of spawner is that? Oh, I can't tell. Oh, it's blazes. How the hell did you get a blaze spawner? I mean, I'm guessing there's a method, but still. How the heckles? That's not what I need. Uh, 
That doesn't look healthy. Right, anyway, moving away from all this, my my level would be much better. Anyway, but oh, I eventually make one. <laughs> Need to get round to that bit yet. Right, and the bit, what, he's, he's all right. He's, he's healthy. Like, what happened? I left for like literally two minutes. All right, a bit longer than two minutes, but still, I didn't leave for very long. Why is there, why is there stuff happening? What is, we, we did, right, whatever, just put it away. We have four emeralds. I already have tons of emeralds. I went and found our freaking hill, in the witcher, I call it. Sword, staff thing, something, ah. Shove this junk in here for it. That, that is junk, yes. Uh, boo. Life giver, that's, that's just a wee sword. We don't care about that. Anything else? No, not really. There we are, right. Everything's back where it should be. All right, now what the hell was I up to? Um, people, things. Now, something I've learned. After giving tons of tons of books, I found that the max these guys seem to be able to give out is 12 traits. So, sometimes they get a bit pissy about, you know, which trade you're going to give where. Like, sometimes they'll just instantly give you a trade. Sometimes you got to trade them a few things. Or sometimes you got to switch over. Sometimes they block out the first thing. You've got to trade them something else to unlock a trade. Which begs the thing with Jane. I might be able to get Jane's trades back. Because uh, I think I've found something out. But, right. So, for this guy, we've got, what, Freeze. We've got, blah, blah, blah. We've got Summon Ice Giant. That sounds really cool. I don't know what that is, but it sounds really cool. It's a minion, so blah. That's a cool ability. This chappy here, what did he learn? Uh, snare, blah. Mine, summon zombie, leap. He, this guy was all junk. So that guy was not good. So I unlocked um this row here and these three. I didn't unlock you. Yeah, this guy here. Uh, so going from here, we've got Oak Flesh, we've got Telekinesis, we've got Light, we've got Contrasaur, we've got Summon Spirit Hearse, we've got Muffle, we've got... Blah, blah. Right, so you're mostly junk. Cool. This choppy chap, Muffle, we've got Thunderbolt, we've got Mind Trick, we've got... What else we got? So, Wither Skull. Okay, that one, Wither Skull. I don't know what that is. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to just buy all the ones I don't have. Bar the Master ones, because I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> I, I, can I, I want to get Master ones, but at the same time, it's like, which ones are worth getting? Because there's so many about now. Like, last time I got Summoned Phoenix and Fire Breath. I probably shouldn't have, but here we are. Okay, Vey, Conjure Pickaxe, Leap, Lightning Sigil. Alright, again, other ability thing that's lightning. I use lightning. I'll get that. That sounds useful. That was his last thing. Even if he does his we Yeah. Even if he does that now, he's already at 12. So no matter what, Lightning Sigil is going to be the last thing. This chappy chap, he's at Earth stuff. That's Bubbles, Seven Spirit, Seven Spirit Horse, Poison Bomb. Okay, Poison Bomb that's not requiring emeralds this time. Let's get that. That's probably going to do exactly what it says in the tin. Whatever. Dart, snare, glide. Ah, whatever. It's weird that being that. Forest curse. Again, no idea what that is. That's interesting. Lightning, uh, storm mage. We've got arc. We've got lightning ray. We've got static aura. Right, static aura is a quite cool one. We're going to grab that. I remember what that does. That's actually quite a useful little ability because it causes a lightning aura. I assume it works exactly as I remember. Gives you a lightning aura that basically hurts the enemy anytime they make uh, they hit you. Which can be very useful. Uh, we've got Wither Skull again. I paid emeralds for that. I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, and then we've got Thunderstorm being the master ability. Which sounds really cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Mate, can you get out of the way of your mate there? Like, stop protect. You can't protect them forever. Right, Ice Bow. We've got uh, Frost Ray. Thought of that already. Muffle. Blizzards! That sounds good. Give us that. That's an advanced ability. I love that. There we are. We get summon Ice Wraith. Also sounds useful. I already have it, apparently. Fick. Uh, Frost Sigil. I'm not paying emeralds for that. Then summon Ice Giant again. Uh, then Ice Statue. Don't know what that is. Grab it. Anything that requires goldness. It's great. I apparently have Ice Statue. Right. You know you have them or not because it says in the chat if you've like unlocked something new. Wither, we've got... What else we got in here? Force Field, here's the one! <laughs> yes, please, that sounds amazing! I don't know what Force Field does, but if it does what it says in the tin, I'm going to enjoy it. And that was all your things, wait, is that... Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that's all those things. So that's what I unlocked. There's more Master Ability, sorry, we've got Ice Giant now, as well. <laughs> Tad to the ranks. So what have we got? We've got Forest Karth... Uh, curse. This guy's got so many freaking master abilities. So we've got Earthquake. We've got Flight. We've got Force Curse. We've got Ice Giant. 
We've got... What was your one? Oh, was it you? You had one? No, I think it was the guy next door. Carl Webb's... Still ball. Yeah, it was the guy next door. But oh, Yeah, Hailstorm. That was it. Okay, Hailstorm is one as well. And an ice thingy. I don't know what to get. And then you have Wall of Frost. That was it. There's so many different things they can get. I don't know what to get. Oh, uh. Flight, Thunderstorm. They should be easy picks for me because they're two that apply to me. Like, lightning and wind is my elements. But at the same time, I kind of want to see, like, what Ice Giant is. That sounds really cool. And, you know, there's a few other ones that sound really cool. Yes. I don't know. Whatever, you lot can stay in here. A lot more things with them as I go. Obviously, it takes a little bit of time. We need to go gather more books and stuff. Which isn't that hard. It's just make a wee trip to the twilight. But, right, let's see what we just got our hands on there. Also, there's... Hold on. Let's quickly grab that. Also, let's get some gold out. Cause apparently, going to need it. That way... So I've still got plenty of emeralds for working on the town. So that's fine. We've not we've not like wasted our supplies or anything. You know, we still get plenty there. Uh for using. We obviously just unlocked a few more abilities, which might be really good. I don't know yet. So right, we've got this thingy here. And what do we get? So I want to see what forest field is. That sounds like cool. Blizzard sounds interesting. Lightning stage jewel poison moment. Summoning Shraith, a statue, Stenagora. Let's go. Let's grab all these. Badoosh. I want to see what Forest Field does. That sounds amazing. Force field! Oh my god, it does exactly what I think it does. Ah! Oh! <laughs> okay, so it's literally just on this spot, but still! No! I can make force fields! <laughs> I don't know how good it is, but it sounds awesome! Wait, why didn't it go again? I've got to wait for that to turn out before it's another one, apparently. Oh. Wait, did I? Like, force fields. No, I can't turn another one. Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that how it works? Hold on, and pop there. So it lasts like a good minute odd. Wait, forest fields, it applies it works wherever you're pointing. No, it's just wherever you are. Why didn't it work a fucking minute ago then? It just it does just cause a bubble, okay. I need to test this! I need to know what it works against. Cool. Alright, anyway though. Let's go over here really quick. Alright, laddie lads. With our school. Yeah, it does exactly what I thought it would. Static order! You're just zapping yourselves, you twits. Oh, they are hurting me, though. Uh, summon Ice Wraith. It's just this ability. That's not very good. Blizzard! Yeah, it does not bad. I mean, it's not very massive, but you know. Oh, God. I just don't know. Uh, goes wherever I point it. Okay, the Ice Wraith's doing its job. Mitch is going to have a hell of a time with this. <laughs> oh, mate. Shash Kagi, please return to us. I've been such a good little minion. I've gotten so many nice things for you. Look at this! Brilliant force field! Bring it! You can't get to me! Screw you! It's so cheap as well. Well, if you got emeralds. They still just don't. <laughs> Alright, you can't get me if I stand right on the edge. But still. With a skull! I can attack outside it! I can attack outside it! Blizzards! Yeah, I can still aim outside. Oh my god. Oh no, I Okay, I can't shoot that. I can still shoot abilities out. All right, that's that's interesting. I like that ability. <laughs> like a lot of these abilities that I've got in my hands on. These are quite good. Oh, I'm just gonna have a great time. You're still here. I guess you have to be in the chunk for it to pop, as it were. Right, that's fine. Those are the ones I got. I got poison bomb, lightning sigil, poison bomb. A statue. Is that literally just freeze? Grab freaking like these. Just keep these two on. I'm going to change my wand. My, my staff's up a bit. Oh god! I'm learning so many abilities. It's great. Ah! Eventually, when I finish making an underground fighting pit or something, or we build an arena or something, we have a great time. Just brutalizing Zara with these and Immo. Can't forget about Immo. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have a great time with them. Hey, poison bomb! It just throws a poison bomb. Can I expect that? Lightning sigil! Come on then, bring it on! Oh, you nitwits. Oh, there's lightning sigils all over the place. You didn't. You walked right into them. Oh, that's another one. Can't fucking angle it very well. <laughs> there we go. Blizzards! 
Oh, wait, yeah. I statue! It literally just raises them. I could have suspected that. Wait, how long was the ice thingy last? Wait. Oh, I don't think they can get hurt, though. Hold on. Raise the target stuff for 20 seconds or until broken out. The target cannot move or do anything while frozen, but else is impervious to all damage. Yeah, okay, so I can't, like, target it with stuff. Wait. What if I use... No, no, come back! Force fields! No, damn it, it forces them out. I was gonna say, what if I use force field and try and lock them inside it? Can I lock them inside a force field? That's what I'm curious about right now. Can I lock you inside? Like... No, it forces you out. Damn it. Alright, so if Dylan's attacking me, I can just use that and blast them away from me. I also kind of just create neat little bubbles in the field where they can't, like, do anything around. They've got to walk around them. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun with these abilities the next time they're on. Zoro's going to think he's going to get me with something. Then, Badoosh! Out of nowhere. I'm forced field arrives. Yes! Oh, they're stuck. They can't get out. Ha! Oh, and it pops. Sorry, back off now. Uh, the bar. I'm leaving now. You can continue playing your games I'm out of here. Brilliant. Simply brilliant. But I found so many fun things. Uh, yeah, I found a brilliant method for grinding those guys. I need to go find more old men once they're all unlocked. But, yeah, that's such an easy method to get all their trades. I just need the resources to trade them. I need more astral diamonds. I don't know if, like, tracking them down is the only way to get them. But, like, I need more. I need so many more. Oh, no bad field defense with the village. Ah, oh, we don't care about that. He got trapped somewhere, whatever. It's fine. All right. Well, anyways, there is still no mats here. There's also there's still a nitwit here. You only be a cook or an enchanter. You know, I'd make an enchanter, but I don't think there's any point. We don't have a blacksmith yet. Hey, what about you though? I don't want to make too many people though. Like, are oh, you both the same thing? Ah, oh, whatever. I don't want to do too many things. Again, I want to wait until Mitch gets back and Pat gets back in it so they can see some of this stuff and try some of this stuff. I don't want to jump and just do everything by myself. I lot tons of abilities and I'll give them tons of abilities. Because that's just grindy. No one wants to see that on camera. But I will, you know, obviously play with them on camera. I find that bit quite fun. But anyway, for today though, I think we'll end this video here. So thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the show. We had a minor threat. My dog's now greeting, brilliant. He's figured out I'm doing the outro and he wants outside. Anyway, we had a minor threat in the form of the Necromancer, but it was just a minor one. The Necromancer wasn't very strong. Which, to be fair, given the size of our current village, it's not too surprising only a small one arrived. Like, apparently, the bigger you make your place, the more powerful the Necromancer can arrive and stuff. So, yeah. You can tell powerful that by one, the skulls floating around them, and two, the... how skilled they are at summoning the undead. In which case, they summon plain old zombies. That's... that's crap. They can do crap all... And once they get Wither Scout and stuff, that's higher tier stuff. I think I kind of a tier 4 one in the old village to be across there before I dismantled it. And that was fun. Oh, I just got to kill lots of Wither Skeletons. Anyway, Minor Threat destroyed. We now have very good trade deal going on. Very good deal. We can now basically get more of that. Well, we, we sacrifice a book and we gain back a crystal. But for that, we get a lot more trades with them. That could only be good. That could only be good for us. This is, yes. yes, please. More of this. Right. Anyway, though, people. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the show. As always, people, if you want to get a chance... Or, we get a chance. If you want to get on the server, it is currently members only. Should throw it there, though, because I've been getting this a little bit. I currently have tiers of members, and it shows like what the rewards are. The default member thing was... uh Like, the default price and stuff was basically what the getting level is. So, like, I've left that as, like, the default. If you want to get away with some servers, it's getting leveling up. Like, if you're a student, student's just a general, like, support one. You got Discord ranks, a Discord room talking stuff. But that's generally just a little support rank if you wanted to support the channel. Because I've got people getting student rank, and then they're like, hey, I want whitelist. And I'm like, hey, uh, did, did you read the rewards? I, it says the rewards. <laughs> getting ranks where you unlock server whitelisting. Just throw it out there for people. If you're, if you're like, getting ranking higher, if you want to get whitelisted, just let us know. Uh, if you're student rank, sorry, but that's it's support. You can get a Discord rank thing and talk on there if you like, but that it's generally just a support thing. It's all in the reward bit. I, I is noted there. Right, anyway, though, people, thank you all very much for watching. See you all next time for some more Naruto projects. Goodbye, everybody. Da -da -da -da. Also, just want to say a quick thank you to all the members on the channel for your support. 
And, of course, a special thank you to our Ombu ongoing member, Kyle the Young. Thank you very much for the extra support on the channel. Bye-bye.